Guys, this is one of the biggest red flags that y'all look over. When a girl switches her number often, if you only been talking to a girl for a month and she done switched her number twice, or you've been talking to her for six months, she done switched her number four or five times, that is the number one red flag. Watch this video to the end. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna tell y'all why this occurred. And y'all know that I'm on real time. I don't care what I'm doing. I'm high as fuck right now. I'm sitting back watching Raising Canaan. But when something happened, I got to give y'all the content. It's live. So subscribe. 72%. Matter of fact, 72.7% .7 of y'all that watching me is not subscribed. What the fuck is going on? It's free. But anyway, live as y'all see at what? What is 12.22 p.m. I'm dropping this video. It's 12.26. Who knows when I'll let it come out? I just make content. But I'm going to try to block the number. But as y'all see, this Puerto Rican mama is writing me. As y'all can read that, my little screen little fucked up. But time is money, so I don't got time to be changing it. You see time is money. But it say, hey, this is blah, blah, poppy. I done dropped my other phone getting out the car. Let me tell y'all what I done learned about females. I done heard in the last month, this from like four or five different females. I dropped my phone, as y'all just saw. Oh my goodness, I left my phone at work. Y'all think I'm lying? Swear to God. I just got a text. I left my phone at work, swear to God. Um, so she had to get a new one. Somebody stole my phone. Or they'll tell the truth. My baby daddy broke my motherfucking phone. My husband broke my motherfucking phone. Or they're running from somebody. I didn't see occasion that a girl is running from her ex-husband. So every time he find a way to contact her, she would switch her number. But let me tell you how dumb she was. She would give the number to the same bitch to keep giving it to her. I swear to God, she used to tell me and she never could catch on, but you guys know I'm stoic. I ain't here to save them hoes. I started to say, it's your fucking cousin that keep doing it. She said, I swear to God, and she really be trying to dodge this nigga. She like, I swear to God, my cousin called me on three-way with him. Some kind of way he connected the numbers. Ding, ding, ding. The second time she changed it was a week later. Oh, he almost caught me. He could track it down. Only how he found out, I don't know how he found out, the only person that got my number is blah, blah. Is that the same person that called you on three with him? Yes, but I don't know how my number keep getting out. So I'm going to change it this time, change it. Oh my God, how the fuck did he find my motherfucking number? The only person that has it is you and blah, blah. Well, I don't know, dude. So the only person that know, dude... Nah, I let her figure it out, huh? So a girl will change her number and she trying to keep dodging another guy, which means she already still in a relationship with this dude because she broke up with him and he ain't broke up with her. Let her carry on that baggage. Come on, let her have that. You don't owe this bitch nothing. Ain't no cap and save a hoes over her. All right, number two by the scene. Girls go home and it get real. When a girl get to liking you, she get to seeming funny. Meaning this, baby daddy noticed she ain't staying on FaceTime as long. He noticed that her mama got the baby, her sister got the baby, her child got the other child. He noticed she ain't around as much, she ain't calling as much, she ain't answering the phone like she used to. So he sees something going on. So when she leave from your spot and go back to her house, because notice, most girls that switch their number a lot, you can never go to their house. They always want to come to yours. And I prefer it that way. If I got to drop your baby daddy, your husband at the doorstep, I'd rather it be mine, self-defense game. So anyway, but I'm offensive too, but why? So long story short, they got a baby daddy they going home to, and they in some type of relationship. Ladies, if you're still fucking your baby daddy, and y'all fighting, y'all still in a relationship, no matter what you think. So second of all, baby daddy breaking the phone and beating her ass, and they fighting. That's how it's going to go. Or if she keeps switching her number, she's a scammer, which is fine. Just don't trust the bitch. That means the bitch got a price. 
and she'll sell her pussy, her soul, and sell your ass out for any dollar. She got a dollar amount, bitch, not per. So I'm telling you guys, today alone, and this, I'm the side nigga. I'm not the main nigga. Imagine what the main niggas hearing. I don't text and say, why didn't you call me last night or why haven't I heard from you? I don't want to hear from the bitches. They are just genuinely just telling me this information. That's how you know they lying. You ain't talk to a bitch all day and she just randomly just text you and say, I changed my number, I lost my phone. She ain't lose it. Who lose their phone? I done had this same phone for three, four years. You will lose your keys before you lose your motherfucking phone. How people be on their phone, stop lying. So guys, stop falling for that. And if you have a girl that's steady switching her number, it's a reason why. And it ain't because a bill collector, it's because the block button be blocking. That block be blocking. The girl just doing it because she got a lot of baggage, man. And I just wanted to share that with y'all right quick and just keep it a hundred, man. Keep it a hundred. But with that said, y'all like, comment, subscribe. 72.7% of y'all to watch my videos is not subscribed. That's crazy. It's free. And hit the bell notification. Pinned up in the comment section is my TikTok and my Instagram. Go to my Instagram for sure and my TikTok and subscribe or follow whatever. Run it up. Let me know that you did it. I shot you out next video and I'll follow back and like your own shit. And if y'all got anything y'all want to promote on this channel, that's, you know, that's in the niche of what I'm talking about. Let me know. I probably do it for free. And last but not least, um, y'all dudes and ladies going crazy. If you want to book a 30 minute FaceTime with me and you want to talk about the issues you're going through in your dating life and you want it to remain anonymous between me and you, I don't care if you're recorded. I don't care if you make your own content with it, but I won't because you're paying me for just me to know and for me to give you my advice. Now, if you on some simp shit, beta male shit, don't call me. Don't book the call because I'm going to keep it real with you. For example, I won't expose nobody. I'm just going to tell you, a guy told me that his girl acted funny. It seemed like when he been running in her, her pussy a little loose. Hey, either she got a deal though that's bigger than your dick or she fucking somebody bigger than you. Oh, she seems like she don't want to fuck no more. Well, that deal though, she'll still want to fuck, so she don't want to fuck no more. She don't got feelings for a deal though. It got to be a nigga. Or a bitch with a bigger deal though than your dick. Either way, your bitch is sliding out. Wow. Got a message, what, yesterday? He found out she's sliding out. Bitch. I told you that. He think I'm the GOAT. That's common sense. But, hey, some people just need to hear it from somebody they respect more than their own mind. So with that said, y'all like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all at the top. I'm trying to hit 100K to get that little YouTube button. So y'all go ahead and subscribe, 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 subscribe. Share, share, share. I holler. Gang.